Let's create an offer. Click on Create Offer. Here you can select Basic or Advanced Mode by clicking on this button. Let's continue with Advanced Features. 1. Start with General Sections. You need to fill the offer name, offer logo will be displayed here. Select Already Created Advertiser from drop-down, Category, which is not mandatory for creating category. Click on Offer Category from the shortcut. App ID and external offer ID, if any. Preview URL if provided by your advertiser. Fill the offer URL. Deep Link can be enabled with this button. Here you can check the token macro list and here you can add multiple landing pages as well pre-lending. Set required advertiser model and affiliate model, advertiser revenue, affiliate payout, currency. You can hide payout for affiliate from here. Set schedule from which date you want to start and end your campaign. Snooze can be set for your offer from here if you want to start and pause your campaign at a particular time within a day. Offer visibility can be set to public, public plus required approval, or private. In the case of public, offer will be visible to affiliates and on applying, the offer will be approved automatically. Public plus require approval, offer will be visible to affiliates and on applying, approval is required private. Offer will be visible to only approved affiliates. Status can be set from here in the case of approved. Offer is live from your end and clicks will be redirected to the advertiser offer URL. Pending. Offer is not live and it will not be visible to affiliates. Or ended. Offer is ended and it will be visible to affiliates and clicks will not be redirected to the advertiser. With this button, you can send an alert to affiliates regarding change in status. Save your campaign description, private note, and KPI accordingly. After that, click here. 2. In the targeting section, you will set the default click domain. Targeting enables you to allow as well as block traffic as per targeted geos and various other fields from here. 3. Creatives. Creatives for affiliates can be uploaded from here in the available formats, and by selecting Offer Logo, you can upload Offer Logo. 4. From this section, you can assign Offer and reject as well to affiliates. For extracting affiliate tracking links, click on Share, Extract Affiliate Tracking Link. For adding parameters, you just need to click on the checkbox against the parameter that you want to add in the affiliate link. Share this link with your affiliate. By clicking on this button, you can extract the impression URL. Clicking on Finish Offer Create, it'll be redirected to the edit of this offer if you want to make any changes in the offer. These four parts we have already discussed, let's move on to further options. 5. Capping Select Time Zone for capping. Set advertiser capping as per number of conversions or budget here. Based on these options, daily, weekly, monthly, and hourly. These are the particular options which you can select in case of advertiser overcapped traffic from the dropdown. Stop offer, enable, fall back, affiliate conversion accept, affiliate conversion reject, or keep affiliate conversion in pending status. To display advertiser cap to affiliate link here. Affiliate capping and affiliate overcapping action can be set from here respectively. These options are to hide capping, display advertising capping, and send alerts to affiliates. 6. Fallback. With the help of fallback unused traffic due to any reason, for example, overcapped traffic, out of targeted traffic or a link block due to any other reason can be redirected to a URL or already created campaign. Enable fallback, then either set URL or select campaign. Affiliates. Fallback reports for affiliates can be enabled or disabled from the available option. Here you can add HTML slash JS code and here the impression link shared by your advertiser. Seven. 
events and payout tier, conversion waiting time. Here set the maximum time for which you will wait for the conversion to get recorded from advertiser side. Multi-conversions can be allowed or blocked from here. Conversion approval, set conversion approval for affiliates either to auto or manual from here. Multi-conversion IP based to allow or block multi-conversions from same IP. Whitelist post back server IP to whitelist the IP address of your advertiser, display default post back event affiliate, which event details you want to show to your affiliate by default, choose from here. Event mismatch action. In case of mismatch in fired event post back, you can choose from the dropdown whether you want to discard it or record as an initial conversion. Click on Create Event to add already created event from the dropdown. By adding a new event, click here, then add Advertiser Price, Affiliate Price, Submit. Click on Payout Tier to set different payout for different affiliates. To get event-wise postback, click here. Here you can set different payout as well as revenue as per different geos. 8. Security and Anti-Fraud Click Block Filters. With these filters, clicks can be blocked from particular IPs, affiliate ID, sub-affiliate ID, and other data that you are receiving in these files. Conversion Validate Filters To keep conversions in pending status for affiliates to be validated later on if there are any particular value that you are receiving in these tokens or no value in postback. Click IPv4 Range Filter. A particular range of IP addresses can be allowed as well as blocked with the help of given formats. Unique Click Limit. Unique Click Limit can be set with this option. Conversion CTIT Rule. Set here the minimum or the maximum time, which according to you must be the difference between your click and the conversion time. If any conversion gets recorded in between the set time period, then you can choose your action from the given options. Proxy Block Browser To block traffic from proxy, choose options from here. Blank Refer Block If you want to block traffic from affiliate without refer, you can choose the option accordingly. HTML Redirect Hide Referral To hide the source of traffic from advertiser, choose option as per your requirement. Iframe Prevent Break iframes. By selecting Break It in iframe prevent, you can break multiple embedded HTML iframe elements from the ad page, and your ad will open in a separate tab. 9. In Others option, you can extract advertiser postback, manage affiliate postback, test affiliate postback, check report, and change logs. To get an advertiser post back, you need to click on this tab or click on the post back tab available in shortcuts. Select the post back tab as per your advertiser requirement. Now copy the post back link and share with your advertiser. Once your advertiser saves your post back, you can share your test link for testing purposes by going to Offer Approved Option Advertiser Test Link. Here you can see a test report of testing done by your advertiser. Postback logs can be checked from here. This is for saving the postback shared by your affiliate, and this is for affiliate postback logs. Click on Manage. Click on Add Offer Postback or Global Postback. Select Offer ID if you are saving offer-wise postback. Select Affiliate ID, Event Type if required, Select the type of postback. Place the postback URL. To check integration with affiliates here in Affiliate Postback Test, you can test the affiliate test link shared by your affiliate. Place the test link of your affiliates. You can select Debug Mode if required. Once testing is done with your affiliate, you can ask your affiliate whether they received a test postback successfully or not. In the report section, you can post the report of clicks, conversions, and impressions. With the help of these filters, you can filter out your report according to selected filters.
You can change the date of your report. Here you can increase the number of results per page. From here you can choose either drop-down view of filters. With the help of conversions log section, you can see reports of conversions only, and cap logs can be checked from this tab. Change logs here, you can see changes logs in the offer.